Coach Dean Spaulding. Coach Spaulding, Monroe Jefferson, 40 years, all at Monroe Jefferson Middle School. Ladies and gentlemen, this man should be in everyone's Hall of Fame. Beginning in 1976, he has had 14 undefeated seasons. Two seasons his teams have given up only six points, and his best winning streak was 29 wins, one loss from 2000 to 2004. He was a member of the coaching staff that won the Class B Regional and State Championships in 1994 under Mark Sisko. Awarded the MHS FCA Assistant Coach of the Year in 2000 and inducted into the Monroe Jefferson Hall of Fame in 2009. Coach Spalding retired from coaching in 2015. A quote from Bruce Pickens, past head coach at Monroe Jefferson. His dedication and selfless attitude has been the one constant in our program throughout the past 40 years. His most humorous incident in coaching. This happened early in my career. <clears throat> After an away game, Mike, one of the coaches I coached with, and I were walking off the field. My mom met us at the gate and we talked. I noticed that the concession stand was still open and I needed a Snickers. <laughs> I didn't have my wallet. So I asked my mom for some money <laughs> We laughed. Every game after that, she met Mike and me after the game for a couple of snacks. <laughs> Biggest thrills in coaching for Coach Spalding, winning the 1994 Class Double B State Championship, and watching the players, I coached in eighth grade, play on Friday nights. What coaching football has meant to Coach Spalding, it has been a big part of my life. It has afforded me the opportunity to pass down values instilled in me when I was a player, values that I hold dear. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Coach Dave Small. Thanks, Jack. Well, it's amazing. Still pinching myself. I'd like to congratulate my fellow inductees on their enshrinement. I have so many people to thank and acknowledge, so please bear with me. First of all, my family. My beautiful bride, we stand, Cheryl. Unit one, Jackie. Unit two, Amy, along with Ryan. Brother Brad and his wife, Renee, and my stepson, Jordan, and his fiance, Kayla. <laughs> I have so many people to thank and acknowledge, so please bear with me. <laughs> Thanks to my mom and dad. Even though they're no longer here on earth, I know they're smiling down from above. Brad and I had awesome parents. They were my heroes. They mean so much to me. I know Brad and I, we both miss them dearly every day. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thanks to John Rhodes. John was the principal who hired me way back in 1976. Thanks to Mike Dombowski. Mike was the first person that I coached with. Thanks to Bruce Pickens for nominating me. Bruce and his staff have worked so hard the past four years and got rewarded by making the playoffs this past season. Thanks, Pick. <laughs> I'd like to thank the committee for my selection. Thanks to all the guys that I coached with at Jefferson. Not only are they tremendous people, but so are their families. There are so many memories and friendships that I will cherish. The football clinics that we attended were legendary. I learned so much at them. <clears throat> Some actually were related to football. <laughs> Places like the Pamlin Hotel, the Amway Plaza, uh, the Kalamazoo Hilton, the Soaring Eagle, the Battle Creek Hotel, I mean, the Stouffer's. Only those walls could talk. <laughs> could I have the Jefferson coaches please stand and be recognized? I know they're out there.
thanks to my former players, so many fine young men have gone through our program. They have given me so many memories that will last a lifetime. The cool part is that many of my former players I now consider my friends. It doesn't get any better than that. In fact, many of the coaches are former players, and that speaks volumes about the program Mark Bill, Bruce carried on, and now Gene Ginobili. Good luck, Gino. <clears throat> Thanks to my high school coach, Don Lesnar. I miss him greatly. He, made, he meant so much to me. He was a tough demanding coach that taught me so much. He was a great one. Thanks, coach. Thanks to a special friend, Mark Sisko, the godfather of Jefferson football. Along with his wife, Donna, they meet a young red-haired kid from Riverview feel right at home in beer country. I coached, I coached for Mark for 36 years. Mark is one of the most loyal, the most loyal person you will ever meet. It was an honor and privilege to coach for Mark. Mark kind of surprised me tonight. I thought he was still going to be in Florida, but he came up a little bit early, I guess. And thanks so much, Coach. Thanks to all the people who came here tonight to support me. I've been blessed with a wonderful family and a great bunch of friends. And then there's one last person to thank. We coached together for 38 years, all at the eighth grade level. I guess we kind of grew old together. We are like brothers. His name is Mike Centella, my pal. <laughs> Sharing a sideline with Mike has been an honor. In fact, I'm sharing this award with him because we coach together for 38 years. I mean, we're like a team. Thanks, pal. In closing, it's been a privilege to have coached this great game. There is just something special about football. I am very fortunate to have coached it for 40 years. And to do it all at Jefferson makes it even more special. To the Jefferson community, it's been an honor to have taught and coached your kids. What a tremendous ride. Thank you. God bless. And rip fly 45. <laughs>